What's up everybody? Welcome back. Blue Raven here and in today's video I am going to teach everybody how to get easy mode activated in Bloodborne. I call it easy mode. Some people call it hacking. Some people call it a glitch. Some people call it cheating. It's easy mode. Just get over it. First, first of all, I want to put out a disclaimer. This is not for people who are playing Bloodborne for the first time. If, if you downloaded it when it was on PlayStation Plus and you just haven't got around to it and you're just now getting around to playing Bloodborne. Um, I don't know where, what cave you've been in, but it's one of the greatest games ever made. Play Bloodborne first. Just play through it normally. I know it's hard and it's a pain in the butt sometimes, but it's so worth it, okay? So play through it first before you watch this video. Um, this video is for two groups of people. Group A is for people like me who have beaten the game numerous times have hundreds and hundreds of hours logged into Bloodborne. I've done different challenge runs. I've done the challenge, all the challenge dungeons. I've done it all in Bloodborne. That's for this for that group of people. The other one is for the other group of people who, you know, you're just not good at Soulsborne games. You got them, but you're not very good at them. And it's really hard, and you're on the struggle bus with four flat tires, four flat tires, four flat tires, and you got one of them prescription windshields. You just can't play the game right. It just doesn't work right. So this is just a little bit of a help to get you um, past that. Okay. So on that, after that, there's only two things you need for this to activate the easy mode in, in Bloodborne. You need A, PlayStation 4. B, a hard copy of Divi or Division. <laughs> I got Division 2 on my head. Of Bloodborne. Okay. You need a hard copy of it. I think you can do it with a digital copy. I haven't tested it yet so once I test it I will let you know if you can do it with a digital copy or not but as of right now I believe that you can only do it with a hard copy so you need to have that hard copy guys it's only like 15 bucks at uh, GameStop these days like Bloodborne you can get a hard copy for like 15 20 bucks so it's not that expensive totally worth getting the hard copy of it uh, especially if you like the game um, so uh, I'm gonna walk you through a couple of steps you need to do before you actually play the game. Okay step one is you need to go in and Make sure that you are not connected to the internet. Do not connect to the internet Step two is if you played Bloodborne if you're part of group a and you've beaten the shit out of Bloodborne You have some great characters on that you want to either Save them to the cloud or save them to an external hard drive save them somewhere because you're gonna be deleting your all your Bloodborne stuff so um, the next step is I'm not going to do it because I've already done it on I've already done, I've already got everything set up for you guys But the next thing you want to do is you want to delete any save data that sets that has bloodborne See, like I have a save here you want to delete that um, In fact, we're actually gonna we'll delete here. We'll do that. We'll delete Just delete that there we go deleting you want to make sure that that's deleted and the game itself is deleted Okay now I don't need to delete the game because I already have it pre-set up like I said so uh, that's what you need you need to have no internet and make sure that you have no save data and the game is absolutely deleted then what you want to do is stick the game in once you stick the game in it's going to install the games version which is 1.0 that's what you want to be on you want to be on version 1.0 you don't want to be let the game update okay that's hence the not being online part okay we want the we don't want the game to update Okay, the game updates, you can't do it. Okay, now understand, 1.0 Bloodborne is super glitchy, has all kinds of weird glitches that go on with it. Um, that's why they up, that's why they patched it. That's why there's patches. Plus, this is one of the things that was patched. So, as you see, we have new game. I'm gonna start out with a new game. I'll yeah, turn that up. That's fine. Uh, so you guys can see everything else is fine. And oh, here we yeah. go. I wish I could skip this, but while he's talking, since we can't skip this while we're talking, while he's talking, I'm going to go over a couple things that's coming up. So I have, I'm going to be doing one an easy mode for all the Soulsborne games. So right now we're doing Bloodborne. Uh, the next one will be Dark Souls One, then we'll do Dark Souls Two, then we'll do Dark Souls Three. The Souls are much easier than Bloodborne. A lot less involved to do. Um, I'm also going to start doing some some Dark Souls lore videos, uh, some of my interpretations on the lore. I really think you guys are going to like those. I'm really excited about those. Plus, I'm going to be doing a subathon. Uh, I'm going to be doing um, sometime in the next week or so. I'm going to be doing a eight 
three day like three day long eight hours consecutive streams um and uh we are going to try to get some subscribers um let's name him pebble p e b b a e pebble is that how you spell pebble i think that's how you spell pebble and that's all we need to do this guy uh he's got more than enough echoes so may, you need at least 100 echoes so i think actually you need like 10 but all you need to know with this character is you don't want to die don't die with this character anyways while this guy's talking while you get to see the stupid cutscene, nah, let's uh like i said i got some uh, some stuff I want to, uh, some Dark Souls lore I want to go about. I'm going to be doing some editing where uh, I'm going to edit all through all. You're going to see the lore from Dark Souls 1 to Dark Souls 2. To, I'm going to kind of tell a story of a character. And we're going to follow that character all the way through the progression of this of the series. How, how I think Miyazaki and pictured that character's actual interpretation. My, it's my interpretation of it. And and there's a lot of lore that, that'll be wrong. Um, and a lot of lore that'll be right. But and I think that's what's so great about the, uh, the Soulsborne franchise is that they, they keep it just big enough to where you can take your own interpretations. The first one I want to do is Ornstein. I'm really excited about that one. The true identity of Ornstein is going to be fun. Um, Subathon. We're going to be probably playing Destiny or Division. Some game where we don't have to stop. Maybe when we'll do a Dark Souls. Maybe we'll do like Dark Souls 3. We'll do like a fresh fresh playthrough of Dark Souls 3 and we'll just... just or maybe the three days we'll do like Dark Souls 1 will be day 1, Dark Souls 2 will be day 2, Dark Souls 3 will be day 3. Maybe we'll do something like that. I don't know. We'll figure it out. But uh, that's coming up. Uh, Cage 6 uh, giveaway uh, Wednesday. I'll be doing a live stream Wednesday for that. Um, I believe. Or I'll do a pre-recorded video. Either way. I already know who the winner is. I've already picked out the winner. Um, so uh, anybody who's watching this video... Yeah, you, you still have a chance of winning one. You just can't win the one from the from the from the last giveaway. Um, uh, so yeah, you found yourself a hunter. Yeah, Ugh, this game looks so good on the pro. I mean, it's still 1080, but it's boosted. You get the, the so in PlayStation on PlayStation Pro, you actually get the setting that's called. Uh, boost mode and it says experience improved gameplay including higher frame rates from some great some games that were released before the introduction of the PlayStation Pro, uh, 4 Pro uh, the 7000 series turn this experience off to unexpected behaviors in your gameplay so it, it boosts the game to make it look better because uh, I think Bloodborne did come out before the Pro one of the coolest things I've always thought about Yosefka's clinic because we're in Yosefka's clinic right now what, one of the things I've always thought about was uh we don't care about that is the door so i can see out this door right but watch this check this out when you open it if you come around this side of the door check this out you can't see in so it's like a it's like one of those one-sided mirrors so the whole time fake yourself is talking she can see you clearly and you can't see her i always thought that was kind of cool all right so uh oops let's do this uh, should I kill this guy? Uh, I mean, I can. It's not that hard. Let's go. Ugh. There we go. I just want him chasing me. You don't have to kill him. You can, by all means, run past him. Uh, run right the fuck past him. You don't have to kill him. You don't need to pick up any items for for this character. Okay, I just kill him because it's, it's fun to kill him. Just stick stick my hand in his butt. It's always fun. You don't need to pick up that item. You don't need to do anything. All you need to do is run for the lantern. Okay, run. Trust me. Just run for the lantern. Let's go. Run, bitch. No. Come over here. Come over here. Come on. Excuse me. Thank you. Celtic Beast. Run! 
Light the lantern. Here it comes, he's gonna cut me! No, he's not. See you, bitch! So, this character is just about done. You're about done with this character. This character you're, is not the character it's gonna, that's, that you're gonna be playing with, okay? This is the character you need in order to get your character you're gonna play with to go into straight up easy mode. So all you gotta do, run over here, see the merchant, and buy a pebble. Buy one pebble, not not 10, not 20, not 50, one pebble, okay? One pebble, then go to your bottomless storage and put that pebble into storage. After that, quit the game and you're done with this character. That character's done. Pebble is done, okay? And now we can start the character you're actually gonna play the game with, okay? Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Hit the X button. There's no network, I know. New game. Now we should be able to skip these cinematics with this now. I, I think you can't skip this one, but you can skip the next one. Um, well, you've come to the right place. So, yeah. oh, uh, so I'm using, if anybody knows how to use Pinnacle Studios, uh, that's the editing software I, I'm now using. Um, and it explains to me why my audio, when I record, because when I record, I record my audio with my gameplay. How come my audio and my gameplay aren't lining up correctly in Pinnacle? Um, my Magic Monday game, I can't do that until I fix that problem. Um, or I have to go back to cut editing again, which I don't want to. I want to do these, th these edits. So if anybody knows how to use Pinnacle better, uh, shoot me a message. Let me know. Maybe we can chit chat about it and you can help me out. Uh, I use, uh, my capture card is Aver Media. This guy's name is God. That's what we're going to call him. And we're going to give him a violent past. Appearance. Uh, face reset. Oh, wait, no. Similar faces. This is where we're going to go all. Of Yes, that's the one I want right there. Okay. Uh, hair. No. Hair. Uh. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Uh. This one actually looks kind of funny. <laughs> You're going with that one. All right. Uh, beard. Let's give him the. Wait, wait. Where's the. This one? Yeah, that one. And then we we're gonna put we're gonna put some glasses on him. Cause he's 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 handy capable. Uh maybe not. No, none of the glasses look good. Nope. That's just that's just how he is. Okay. And finish. So this is the character you're gonna be playing with. Okay? So now, with this character, you actually can play the game. But um, we got to do. We have to. You have to set set everything up. So and that's what I'm going to show you how to do. I'm going to show you how to set everything up, and then I'm going to show you what happens if you mess up. Okay, because you can mess up. There are times where you can actually mess up. Uh, one, the game can crash. That's okay. As long as your saves stay intact, you're fine. If the saves lose it, then you got to start from scratch and just start from step one of the video okay good now we can skip this okay so um, and then the other one is is if you accidentally put more than one thing in your bottomless box I'll show you how to fix that I don't know why I can turn to do that but let's go all right I would love to do another bloodboard run through maybe I'll do them with this god mode character that I created this easy mode character okay so. Oh, you're dead. Yeah, booty! Give me that booty! Now, one thing you need to make sure that you keep aware of is your vials, your blood vials, and your silver bullets. You don't want them to go... If they do exceed your carrying capacity and they go to your storage, it's okay. You just need to make sure you go in and 
take them out when you want to go do. Uh, it's a duping glitch. You're going to be duplicating an item, is what we're doing. So when you want to duplicate this item, you want to make sure that that you don't have anything else in your storage. I'll show you why when we actually do it. Ooh, excuse me. See ya. Celtic Beast. Now, once you do this glitch, the NPCs in the game are going to go full retard. Like, shit's going to mess up, but that's okay. Because once you update the game, it'll all go back to normal. Once you actually go back online and update, and the game updates, all the NPCs will go back to normal. But while you're still in this offline mode and you're doing the duping and everything, the NPCs in the game are, will go wacky. They'll give you items they're not supposed to give you. Just all kinds of weird shit. Okay, so what we're doing, all we need to do here is pick up our items. So we need to pick up our sock lever. Yes, give me my sock lever. My pistol. And this. I always hit the wrong button. Let's go cleaver. Pistol. Okay, now we want to go, we want to go to uh, Central Yarnum. And then, uh, there might be an ed ed uh, there might be an ed I'm using I'm gonna try to use my editing software for this video too so there might be a jump cut coming up just um, see if I can do this right um, I did previously record this video and I messed up uh, or the game glitched and messed up and I had to start from scratch so I just figured dodge ah, restart the recording instead of just doing another recording and then doing an edit um, just do a whole new recording so uh, I and it took me about four or five tries to get to the next part of the area that we need to glitch. So if I can do it that way, I don't need to. Edit. I won't need an edit. But um, yeah, pick up those pebbles. I love that combo. That is my favorite. One of my favorite combos in Bloodborne is that right there. That is so brutal. So you go. Uh -huh. So for any, if you're curious, it's R1, L1. So you hit R1, then you hit L1, and it opens it up. And that is just, it is a brutal combo. We want to let these guys pass. We don't want to fight them. We just want to go, we want to get behind them. That guy always stops. We want to make sure that he doesn't see us. Oh, didn't see us, okay. So we're going to go ahead and open this shortcut. So if we mess up and we can't kill this big guy, at least we can just go straight back to him. We gotta kill this big guy here, though. Okay. So let's go. Let's go kill the big guy. Ow! Hey, chill out. No! I'm dead. They. Oh yeah. So in case he kills you, you have that shortcut unlocked. <laughs> Uh, it's been a while since I played Bloodborne, so my parry game isn't as good as it used to be. I used to be like, I used to be like, bam! I could parry anything. Gas going. Didn't matter who you were. I parry the shit out of you. Um, uh, this game, actually, if you can get good at parrying in Bloodborne, the Dark Souls franchise becomes almost uh, almost easy mode by itself, just because the parries are so much slower in those games, and this game is so much faster, so your timing is better. We're going to go down here and kill this guy. Hey, descend the ladder, dude. And, whee! I didn't just break my hand at all. Okay. okay. Mm. Hey, doofus. Got him, but uh, I keep getting it, but he hits me too. All right, let's file up. Ah! There we go. 
Easiest way to fight that guy. Just parry him. Like I said, I used to be legit with my parry skills. Even my soul echoes back too. Need those before four blow. So you need to kill him just because you need to access this area right here, okay? So what you need to do is it's just like God, that guy looks creepy as fuck. Okay, so it's just like uh, the glitch you can do in Dark Souls 3, but it was intended in Dark Souls 3, um, where you jump off the tree onto the roof to get the silver serpent ring at the beginning of the game, except for you want to jump off this casket onto this wall, okay? And you gotta time it just right. You want to just run, and you'll get you'll get an extra little pop up jump when you, if you do it right. That's too late. This is where I said I might do an edit, depending on how many times it takes me to do this. Uh, that looks like a good. Way. It doesn't matter where on the coffin you jump; you just need to jump on the coffin. Nope, that's too late. Mm, nope. So yeah, I'll probably get it. You guys a little quick little edit. Maybe a little fade or something, I don't know. Something cool. Until I actually get it. Because I've, I've spent like 20 minutes uh, time trying to get this to work correctly. It's pra it's, pra it's practice and patience, guys. Because it, it, there's... It's a glitch. You're not supposed to be able to do it. That, should have been, that was good, though. Come on. Let's get there. Okay, guys, so once you get up here, okay, you want to hug the shit out of this rail, okay? Um, hey, look, those guys are there. They shouldn't mess with us. If they do, I'll, we're fucked. Okay, you want to hug the shit out of this rail until you get to these sandbags. If you see these sandbags, you notice I kind of bounce, I kind of go up. You want to go up to the other side. You want to be at this tree, okay? So you want to go, ah, come on. There we go. You want to be right here. And you want to just do an R2. Right here. There we go. And then hug this side. Be careful. You don't want to fall off right here because you're just going to end up... You're just going to end up back where you were. Okay? You want to be on this side. So you want to hold... You want to do an R2 to get over this ledge to get to right here. Then you're just going to come across here and you're going to go behind this house. And now you can drop off. Now we're in Yosefka's area. Yosefka's clinic. Okay? So we can open this shortcut, which you shouldn't open up till much, much later in the game, but we're gonna do it anyways. And you wanna go down here. This is this is that the main item you wanna get because uh, the best cold blood you can get is the one from um, that stupid spider beetle bug thing, um, which is akin cold blood, which is level 10. So level 10 one. Um, you can't since we can't really get that right this second and you wouldn't be able to get it anyways at this level you want to get this one this is a frenzied it's it's level seven perfect it gives you plenty of echoes uh when you use it so that's all you need you need that and then we also need to go get uh madman's knowledge for insight okay so that's all you need you need two those two items you need to do that glitch I just showed you how to do, how to get over that wall, and then uh, get these two items. Now, this other item is going to be a little tricky. you got to be careful. You don't want to die. Uh, even though you have the shortcut unlocked, just try not to die. There's, a, there's one of those guys that sucks your brain, sucks the inside out of you. Um, he's protecting a madman's knowledge. Um, we're just going to run past him, grab that, and run like hell to get back to the lantern. Because then we want to go to the... Uh, the dream, uh, the hunter's dream, which is where everything takes place. Oh, yeah, that's right. We're gonna go this way. So we go here. This is Josefka's clinic. This is where you go to the roof of Josefka's clinic, and you can go in the backside and see. We could actually go see Josefka, like actual Josefka, not a fake one. Like I can show. I'll show him my mom. Okay, that guy can't go up a ladder anyways. I can show him my mom. 
think. I hope I don't fuck up and die up here. Oh, uh, birds. Watch out, birds. See, this is your selfless clinic. And since we have not we actually haven't done anything yet. The real Yosefka will be at this door. Or maybe not. Maybe she's not here yet. Uh, I don't have a lantern yet. Okay, so this is where you would fight the fake Yosefka. And she's right there. There's the fake Yosefka. Okay? Ready to fight you. And because you're not supposed to be in here, she won't. She actually doesn't trigger unless you attack her. She won't actually do anything unless you attack her. But if you go back to where the door is, the real Yosefka. You notice there's no aliens in here yet. The weird alien things. There's one right there. This is where you woke up at, right? Ooh, what's it? What's here? Um, what's here? Hey, uh, oh. hey, ruin contact. Uh, am I missing something? Maybe it's back this way. This is where we woke up at. This is it right here. And there's the real Yosefka. So I've shown you the real and the fake. And then we can go to Kanehurst too, by the way. You can do the legit cheat to go to Kanehurst. I wonder where she, she talked to her. <laughs> Nobody could open the door. Are you? Then I'm very. I am. Yes, I know. She can't open the door. That's funny. Now, go. The, the real the, the, I've never done that before I've actually never ran past her and just let the door open that's really funny but again like I said if you look through hers you can see can't see anyways I thought that was funny alright enough of messing around let's actually go get our oh maybe we can just lantern here that's right there's a lantern here Yes, return into the hunter's dream. Okay, so now this is easy. This is where the easy mode kicks in. This is the duping glitch. Okay, all Souls games, Soulsborne games have a duping glitch. Have a way to dupe um, your currency, be it Souls, be it Echoes, whatever the heck it is. And because we went in there, she's already standing up, which is great. I got the bells. She's already standing up, which is awesome because I already have an insight. Oh, because I went inside, so I already have an insight. So that's freaking awesome okay so what we want to do is uh go up here so i actually need some stuff i've never done, actually done before when i've done this glitch take the frenzy cold blood and put it in your storage That's all you want to do okay and you want to come down here whoop, roll off and you want to buy pebbles buy as many as you can we bought 95 of them bitches okay now it overstacked us with pebbles that's fine if you come back up here look what happened all those pebbles they turn into frenzy cold blood. So we go frenzy cold bloods. It do it turns the pebbles into whatever's in your storage. Whatever's in your storage, as long as you only have one thing in your storage, okay? That's the key. You can only have one thing in there. Whatever it is, you can duplicate it. Okay? You can make as many as you want of it. So crafting material. If you want to make your weapons stronger, you can put that in there and get 99 of them. Uh, echoes. Uh, we can take we can take this out and put the madman's knowledge in come over here we have plenty of echoes now right boom 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 check this out go over here to our madman's knowledge and bam 99 that's that's it guys that's that's all you have to do and uh we'll actually this makes the game a little bit harder because now you can see everything. <laughs> and you can see everything now. That's kind of cool. Uh, did you sell an outfit? Yeah. Let's go ahead and put that shit on. 
now we look good. Now we, yeah, now we look like a fucking hunter. Let's do this. Fire. Now, I'm going to do this one more time real quick, and then I'm going to show you if you accidentally put more than one item in. So we're going to put a... Put one vial in there. So, if you look, we have two items in there, okay? Now, let's go ahead and use up our... Okay. Now, if you buy, I'm not going to buy a bunch. I'm just going to buy, I'm going to buy 20. Because we're already maxed. Or 10. So, maxed our... So, um... Technically, we should have 10 extra souls, right? What happens? Oh, it did. It still duped it. <laughs> That's funny. So, um, no. It shouldn't. It's not supposed to do that. What it's supposed to do is just put the pebbles in there. And then all you have to do is to fix that. If you run into that glitch where you accidentally dupe while there's an extra item in your, in your storage. And it just puts pebbles in there. Take all the pebbles out. Put just the one item in there log off of that character so log out of your main character that you're playing with log back into pebbles the character you named pebbles or stone or whatever the hell you want to name them that the first character just put in all you do is you come back to the storage take the one pebble out and put it back in and then go back to your other character and, it, and the glitch will reactivate okay that's all you need to do so we i'm gonna oops no, we want to buy we are going oh we are young Wait, let's use those. Boom. So I'm just going to show you how quickly you can get up in levels. Really quickly. And again, as soon as you get crafting material, by all means the shit out of it so you can level up your what so you have max weapons so your weapons are ma their maximum uh, uh, for the area so you can just go up in here and just be tearing shit up I'd fucking kill you he just disappears shut up gas crane and I'll show you what I'm talking about about the game glitching here in a second oh yeah we gotta use those souls do we use them already oh, yeah we did okay cool See, we're almost over a million. I think it's like three or four million, and you'll be up over 200, level 200, I think. It's working all the time. The, it, the only time consuming part is the fact you have to keep running between your storage and the vendor. Just do not use all 99. That's the key. Is don't use a mall because then you have nothing to do. Now, it will dupe anything that, that that first character put in there. So if you put a pebble in there, then you need to be buying pebbles. If you put Molotov, I put Molotov in there, then you can be buying my, my Molotov. Uh, blood vials, it doesn't matter. Whatever the item is that's on that other character that you put in the storage. I put pebbles because pebbles is the cheapest thing to do. And we're getting almost 200,000 every time we do this. And then I'm gonna, after this one, we'll go, we'll level up a little bit with her. Just to show you like, how beast you are, how beast you be already. Hello, good. Hi. And up you will twim. Yay. Very well. Let me. So, let's put this up to 30. Endurance up to 30. Strength up to 30. Skill up to 30. And then blood tinge. I'll put that up to 10. And then the rest is going to vitality. There we go. So, we're already level 92. Haven't even started the game yet. Well, I haven't killed. Hunter. I've killed a couple of enemies, May you find and I'm level. I'm already level 90s. Oh, that's the wrong one. That's okay. 
Uh, I just want to show you about the NPCs glitching out now. What I'm talking about about the NPCs glitching. Um, by the way, is that door in your stuff? I'm curious if the door's still open for me opening it. Because you do the blood vial thing with her three times and it switches out to the fake Yosefka and the real Yosefka dies. If you have the door open, you can actually see her change. You can actually see the one holding the stick and the one not holding the stick. Nope, door, she, she reshuts the door on her. Okay, that's okay. But, yeah. We can run up here. I'm just going to show you how devastating you already are. Oh yeah, there's small toss over here, isn't there? I did not mean to... I'm so used to playing uh, Dark Souls that I wanted, I wanted to block with a shield. Oh, look at that, one shot. One shot. Molotovs for Cleric Beast. I usually wait till I'm like level 200, 250, somewhere on there before I actually venture into the game. Um, it's up to you. What the hell am I doing? But you can hear the babies crying already because your insight's so high. They do like no damage to me. Uh, ah. Ah. Give my give my silver bullet. So we're just playing through just a little bit real quick. Well, I know you're there. One shot and everybody. So, a blood shard. Okay, so now we got a blood shard. Now, that's kind of what I wanted to show you. That's all we wanted to do was run and get is a blood shard. Now we can run back. Oh, that's the other thing I wanted to show you is the NPC glitch. Okay, so we do that we do want to go up here because we're gonna go we're gonna use this lantern anyways. We're gonna go talk to the first guy. Remember this guy will give you the lan the flamethrower later, right? Let's see what he does now. This guy up here and, and we talk to this dude, right? Watch. <laughs> we got the tonsil stone. That's what I'm saying, like they all go all weird. You get the tonsil stone when you're not supposed to get it. So this is the last thing before I end the video. Um, guys, if you guys like this, show the love. Hit that like button, share the video, subscribe if you haven't already done so. My channel's getting bigger by the day, it seems like. It's great. I'm loving it. Um, so uh, what we want to do is we want to go into our storage, take that out, go back. We want to go... Oh, over one and put the that in there. Now, now we can go. Oh, yeah, we'll be alright. Uh, plenty of we've got plenty of echo still. Always keep an extra blood echo on you outside of it's like a cold blood one or whatever, just in case you run out of echoes and you need need to, to buy a pebble. So look at that, ninety nine. Fortify weapon. So now that's already plus three. Oops. That's plus three. Just like that. That easy. And if we want, if you really, if you really want to go venturing out, make sure you're high enough level like I am. And then uh, we have the shortcut to the forest unlocked. The bottom part where that poison, where we got the cold blood, the, the level of frenzy cold blood. Just run past that and you can run into the forest and you can get the large, uh, you can get the, uh, the, the large bloodstones. 
So you can get your weapon at plus six before you even fight the very first boss. You can get every weapon at plus six. And they don't sell anything else yet. No. Okay. Uh, so let's put this back in here. Let me uh, do that. go ahead and dupe this real quick before I end the video. So we only we can only dupe thirty five. So we're gonna, th but that's okay. As long as you can dupe even more than just the one that you have in the storage. Because we just go here and bam, seventy thousand. That easy. Uh, I'm gonna live stream this character once I'm done with it. I'm gonna f completely max him out for you guys before we even fight the first boss. And we're gonna we're gonna that's what I'm gonna do. My next stream. It's gonna be the, after this video, the the post, the 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 aftermath of, of this character. See, it's that easy though, guys. It really is. Anyways, I hope everybody enjoyed the video. If you do, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit that share button. And again, if you share this video with just 15 people you know, you're getting me more subscribers. You're getting me more exposure. I love you guys. You guys are the best audience on YouTube. I hope um, everybody has a great day. And, uh, how do you, there we go. And, uh, yeah, take care guys.